Hello everybody, here I have a six pound ball mill from Harbor Freight. Um, if you're gonna buy one, uh, it might not be on sale in the store, but uh, usually on the website it is, at least now I'm pretty sure, as of uh, a week ago it was when I got this one. Um, so make sure you print out the, uh, the price on the website and bring it in with you, otherwise they won't give you the deal. It was only 50 bucks, I think regularly uh, 90 or so. Um, and I've done a couple modifications here. There's another video on YouTube called Souped Up 6 Pound Ball Mill and uh, took some tips from them for speeding it up. And right now I'm running at exactly uh, 92, 93 RPM, so it's perfect. Uh, the other video uses electrical tape and I did that first and I had problems with the tape heating up and the, uh, the glue in the tape uh, allowing the tape to move around and it jammed up my mill and everything. So I used uh, duct tape here. Um, because uh, you know the adhesive is uh, a little bit better, and so I ran a bunch of strips this this way around the roller, and then when I got the diameter right, just with testing on the speed, I ran a couple strips this way, uh, overlapping it to be sure that as it's rolling, it's going in the right direction to kind of push down rather than try and pull up the flaps, um, and it's working great. You can see I put a couple of hose clamps on the end as well to make sure that the uh, tape doesn't move around uh, like I had problems with electrical tape but I don't think it's completely necessary it probably is fine with the uh, duct tape also uh, added another nice modification I had problems with the jar moving from side to side um, and it would run up against the ends of the uh, rollers there and so uh, I went to uh, Orchard Supply and picked up a couple of these small um, rollers they're actually uh, for uh, screen doors or rolling doors and it's the wheels on the bottom of the door um, and so I uh, attached them here through the metal just drilled some holes and put in some uh, bolts and uh, they fit just about perfect I don't know if you can see here um, it's rolling on the edge right there and they work great for uh, keeping that thing from running on the end there I try and keep it pretty well balanced so it's not pushing very hard on the roller but uh, that way uh, I have better peace of mind about leaving this thing going for a while and not having to keep an eye on it about bumping into the ends and screwing up or something. Um, anyways, uh, also I spread a little WD-40 on these bearings. I think they're just little plastic bushings there and uh, that quiet, quieted it up a bit and uh, it runs a little bit smoother so that was nice as well. Uh, right now I'm making some BP and uh, this is only my third batch so I can't say exactly how much time it requires to mill it but I've been doing about five or six hours and it seems to have pretty good results um, one other thing for my media I'm actually using lead filled uh, half inch diameter copper pipe and uh, that's working great for me uh, I'm not sure how many I need in there it's a lot less than if they were half inch diameter balls but uh, they uh, you just take half inch copper pipe and cut it with a pipe cutter so it has uh, a nice edge on the inside so the lead won't slide out and uh, you drill holes, half inch diameter holes in a four x four, stick the, you know, about three quarter inch long uh, pieces of copper pipe into those holes and then heat up your lead and fill it in there. That way uh, you don't have to use hardened lead or try and uh, find antimony or anything like that to add to your lead to make sure it's hardened because the copper uh, won't wear away, hopefully. It's much uh, stronger than the lead and uh, it's working great, so I'd highly recommend uh, using that for your media. It's working great for me. So, anyways, uh, hopefully this helps some others that are trying to uh, get a ball mill going on the cheap and have it work well. Alrighty.